Hey everyone, this is Bobby T for WiltLive.com. Today we're on Fort Lauderdale Beach for the Florida AIDS Walk and Music Festival. We're going to talk to some of the participants today, as well as capture the overall feel of this 5K run. Thank you so much for watching. You are watching WildLive.com. Why was it important for you to come out today and support? Um, just because AIDS is such a, a widespread disease that really needs awareness and it really needs a lot of funding to help make it better. And so it's good to support these because no one is exempt uh, in any disease. When you're when you're a sexually active individual, enjoying life, you have to protect yourself. Here with Joey, the clinical research coordinator for AHF. Joey, can you tell me why is it important for people in the community to make it out to events like this? Well, this event actually brings a lot of attention to our our crowd and our and the people that are affected by HIV. It's a great outlet for people to realize that we're here and we're trying to make a big difference. We're here with Scott, one of the organizers for Alibi. Scott, uh, can you tell me what you do uh, with your organization? Well, I've been a bartender at the Alibi for 17 years. Uh, the bar has been going on 20 years now, so we're pretty ingrained in the community over in Wilton Manors and the gay community here in Fort Lauderdale. We do pet rescue, we help out the AIDS Museum, we do things for kids in distress, we do Safe School South Florida. I mean, it's not just gay events. We help reach out to the community and do what we can to give back as much as we can. We're here with uh, Christina De Silva. You might remember her from the MLK run um, uh, at Cherno Park down in Hollywood. Thank you so much for stopping and talking with us again. Well, thank you for talking with us. So tell us, what has Hands On Broward contributed to this event? So Hands On Broward works to mobilize the volunteers to support the event, um, to make sure that all the walkers and the runners are taken care of and that the beach is cleaned up and everybody is uh, moving as they should be with crowd control. Stephen, can you tell me a little bit about the organization? Well, we were founded in 2008 to respond to a gap in HIV prevention services for Latinos in South Florida. South Florida is number one in new HIV rates in the nation, and Latinos are the fastest rising group. We want less infections, and we want to help people living with HIV live healthier and longer. HIV is still impacting our community in huge numbers, and stigma is still a big piece of that. People are afraid to walk through the door to get services sometimes because they're embarrassed and they're not sure what people are going to think. So all of us coming out here today shows people that people care about them. I'm actually the CEO. I've been there 16 years and have run all of our programs at one time or another. And how about you, Joel? I am a volunteer. Um, Broward House is near and dear to my heart. I've been at least these seven years and many years before that. Well, we actually did start out as a housing and assisted living facility 29 years ago. Now, of course, we do prevention, education, testing. Um, housing is a big component of ours, and, and we actually have 10 houses around the community. We have uh, 10 apartment buildings, 72 apartment units that are specifically for people living with HIV or AIDS that are low income. So housing is a big component for us, but it's not just one place. Uh, we're spread out all across Broward County. We're, we're happy to be here representing mostly Miami-Dade County, but we also do work in Broward and Monroe, and we're beneficiaries of the Florida AIDS Walk, so we're very thankful that with the help of the community, we've been able to raise $70,000, which means that we'll get $140,000 from AIDS Healthcare Foundation to do the important work that we do in the community. We're here with the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida. Um, guys, can you tell me, why is it important for you all to come out and support this event? One of our key missions is to do outreach in the community. We inspire our audiences by our music and by our actions and we believe in the causes uh, that are being addressed with AIDS research and awareness and this community specifically we want to make sure that we show our faces and take part. What about volunteering makes the volunteers important for your organization? Well, it, volunteers are really important to us because the staff can do so much but we also need volunteers to help with our clients but also to do outreach in the community at events like this uh, so we can help spread the message about HIV and making make sure that people are aware of what's going on in the community. It is very, very, very important to get out and get testing. The testing is free um, at AHF Pharmacy. Um, they have out of the closet, which they have free testing, and you can go in, walk in at any time and get tested.
Why is this important to you to make it out here every year? Well, I grew up um, in the 80s and was in PAC like a lot of other people. I am HIV negative, but I lost a lot of friends over the decades. And it's important to get that word out there that tomorrow's another day. It could be me. But right now, especially in the wake of this election, it's important that we continue to organize, that we continue to speak on behalf of each other, because all marginalized communities right now are under attack with this administration, so it's important that we stick together and continue to work hard to save our rights. And what, why do you find it important to teach your daughter here about charity? Uh, as you can see, I'm an immigrant, and I like to teach my uh, daughter how the valuable, uh, valuable uh, to be involved in a community. In order to be a first-class citizen, you have to show, and you have to act as a first-class first citizen, so we are doing come here to, as a volunteer work and with the family. Tell us a little bit about your organization. Um, the team was originally founded in honor of my first daughter, Kimberly, that passed away at the age of eight from AIDS-related um, issues. And I had adopted another girl, Kira, who died at the age of 20. And she's, so both of them are on our backs now. We walk in honor of them. And why is it important for people to come out and donate their time to an event like this? Well, we want to make sure it doesn't happen to anybody else. And losing a loved one um, in such a way is just devastating for anybody. And, and we're trying to prevent any more deaths and any more illness. What makes uh, coming out to this event in particular on the beach important for you? Well, we're walking for some friends who we lost. Um, Four years ago, starting with an employee that was with me for quite a while, he passed from uh, actually AIDS. He jumped from HIV to full-blown AIDS. And then I have two other dear friends that also passed from crossing over. So they're walking above us today as we walk on concrete. I was actually a waitress <laughs> um, at the Floridian restaurant and I had a client in the, in the 80s, um, or a client, a, a customer who I watched get sick and die. Um, and then I watched his family leave him and his friends leave him. And as his waitress, I became his support system and I thought, People should not be alone because they have an illness where stigma is attached to it, and I knew I needed to make a difference. Folks, we're here with Deep Fried Funk, a band here in Fort Lauderdale. They just got done performing here at the music festival portion of the AIDS Walk. Can you tell me what was some of the uh, the energy you felt from the crowd out there? Oh my God, it, it was amazing. Oh, I, <laughs> I felt like we had just come off of tour and we just I went to number one, and they knew that. <laughs> now, now tell us where where can some of our viewers find your all's music? Oh, wow, we can find the music on iTunes online or, or live, wherever we're performing or whenever we're performing different venues. Why was it important for you all to come out and perform at this event and specifically? Um, it was more of what the event was about. Uh, so once I had got the information of what the event was about, and then I told the band, I said, we have to do this event because it's for a great cause. Um, you know, it's, it's secondary, we're getting paid, but the first thing is that we're doing performance for a great cause. We're here with Kevin at the Pavarello Center. Uh, Kevin, um, what did you think of the turnout today? It was an amazing turnout. This is the biggest group that they've ever had, and it's the most money that they've ever raised. And how much money again was it? Uh, I believe they're at 1.4 million, and I'm not done yet, because I still got some more money to go. There you go. What else can people do to get out there and really help with the, for the cause of the community? We always need volunteers. Um, volunteers are the heart of our organization. As you can see, we have a heart in our logo because we want to make sure that everybody knows that when you come to our Pavarello, you get understanding, respect, and love whenever you're a client or you're a thrift store customer. We always have that. So if you'd like to volunteer, it's volunteer at Pavarello.org. You are watching WiltonLive.com. You are watching WiltonLive.com. Oh! <laughs>